Good day guys! How are you today? It's me once again, Teacher Jundi for another tutorial video. And today, we are going to perform a fire protection layout, preferably a sprinkler layout. Before drafting the uh, sprinkler layout, of course, you should have the pre-drawn floor plan. So I have with me my uh, floor plan. And as you can see, uh, there are a lot of lines here. These are the grid lines that I have done in uh, following the scale. But anyway, uh, you just have to disregard this in doing the sprinkler layout. Next is to take into consideration the location of lighting, fire alarm, and air conditioning features from the previous activity that you have done in your plan. And you have to indicate now the location of the fire sprinkler, sprinklers. In determining the location of the fire sprinklers in this plan, uh, this is just a simple floor plan and uh, there are few rooms in here and I suggest that you have to have a sprinkler in every room. So this is just an easy uh, layout for this kind of plan we have. So let's start drawing first the pipe and as well as the sprinkler that we are going to uh, use. There are a lot of the sprinklers in the, in, in the uh, uh, market but uh, we just have to choose only the, the common one which is the upright or the recess sprinkler head. Okay, in doing that, of course, we have to draw lines, but in this drawing uh, that I have, there are a lot of lines or grid lines in here, so it is not uh, difficult to execute those lines. So I just have to uh, draw the uh, sprinkler head and connect this to the other splinter in the different rooms okay so i'll be using a template if you have this template like this okay you just have to use the uh, uh the circles okay you just have the uh, you just have to use uh or i mean use the smallest one since we are using the scale one is 200 so uh you can choose the maybe 30 mm okay or oh, 3 mm right okay so let's start with the laundry area so i have to uh to just draw the small circle circle at the center of that uh, room okay then of course the toilet and bath Okay, also the bedroom. If in case that the room is uh, it, uh, it has a white area, so you just ha you have to uh, assign at least two sprinklers. So all of the rooms should be uh, should have a uh, sprinkler. Okay, then the next the bedroom. The kitchen so in this kitchen uh, you we can uh, install at least two since there are a lot of the uh, uh, tasks done in this uh, room especially the cooking okay then of course in the dining room okay. and the living room and also in the garage so again you can place your sprinkler at the center of that uh, specific room okay 
So as you can see, we were done with the uh, sprinkler heads. So the next is you just have to connect all of those sprinklers by using a vertical line. But in this case, uh, I have already lines here, grid lines. So there's no need to draw the vertical line. Okay, so that vertical and horizontal line will serve as the pipe that connects all the sprinklers. Okay. So, okay, let me check again those sprinklers. So, this one here, the, the sprinkler from the laundry area to the toilet and bath, okay, the bedroom. So, I just have to align those sprinklers so that it would not be uh, difficult to connect. Okay, so just erase this one and place it at the intersection of the uh, horizontal and vertical line. Okay, then also here, this is not uh, aligned. So I just have to erase and replace the location. Okay, then, where else? So, take note that you have to align this so that it would not be difficult to connect. Connect. Okay? By using that uh, pipe. Okay? Or these lines are actually serve as the pipelines connecting all the sprinklers. The next, we're going to draw the pipeline. So in doing that, we just have to darken the lines, interconnecting the sprinklers by using a, uh, a colored uh, pen, or you can use have you, you can use your ball pen with the color just like the blue or red, so that it can easily uh, determine the uh, pipelines in your plan. Okay, so. I'm going to trace all the all of those lines by using this pen. Then in drawing the horizontal line, horizontal pipe, you have to use your T square. Okay. You can also shade the sprinkler head so that it can uh, it can be seen visibly to the eyes of the uh, uh, observer or the one who will uh, uh, check your drawing. Okay, so I'll just shade it. So these are the sprinkler heads. Okay, so uh, those are the sprinkler heads as well as the pipes. And next is, you just have to label your drawing. Okay, you can have the label as, okay, draw first the guidelines in your letters. Then you just have to write 
the title of this uh, layout this is the spire protection layout or just the sprinkler layout And this is scale 1 is to 100. Okay, that's it, lads for the sprinkler layout okay thanks a lot for listening and uh, watching this video